We all got my people working, wing, checking back in on this 2012 Jeep, Jeep, Jeep Wrangler over here. The 2012 Jeep Wrangler. I'm sure you guys how to um, take off this this fender. But in order to, to take off this fender, there's a couple of parts that have to be moved out the way first. This grill right here, you gotta take off this grill. Go ahead and move them clips from there. Yeah, move those clips from, um, from there to take off the grill. There, there's some clips down there that's pushed in. Once you um, take them clips from off of there, just go ahead and snap it out, okay? Just snap it out, and there's two screws on the side that is behind this grill. Now, once you get that off the grill, those 10 screws, you're gonna get them, get all those 10 screws from um, out of there. Then you're gonna move this. You're gonna take them two screws out of there, along with these um, as well. And then there's two screws that is uh, up on and underneath this thing. Now, you gotta take off this flare to get off the um, defender. Let me show you that. Y'all see this 10 right here? Move that stand from there. Y'all see the, this hole right here? There is a 10 screw that is um, up, up, up inside the hole. Get the 10 screw from up inside of there as well. Move that 10 from there. Move that one from there. Same thing over here. Move that 10 screw from there. And move that 10 from right there as well. Now, for down here, for the, the bottom, gotta um, get off this, um, this running board. To get that screw from off of there, and, and there, there, there's a next screw. The next screw that is there, so you gotta get that off this board. In order to drop this board, you gotta drop that. Um, get the number um, that 13 from there. Get that 13 from there. Loose that eight right there. I think um, y'all see a ten. Loose that one as well. Loose that ten right there. Move that 13 from um, from there. The same thing in the back. And drop this um drop this running board and then you should gain access to this screw and this one and then the um and the shell comes off but it's two more screws left you open the door right here right then you're gonna move that screw from there and then you're gonna move that screw from there then the um and the shell comes off when you guys stay tuned i wish i would walk you guys through the process okay This one is right here. There's a screw that is right back here. See? It's right here. That screw is right in the corner. Okay, guys? See? It's, it's, it's right here.
that, that, that's the T27 for the small, the, the two small ones, the T27. Thank you. Are getting too tired there? And for the, um, the big one, it's a T40. This one, you gotta um, take off the wipers and take off this piece, but there's two more screws up on the meat there. So you gotta take off the wipers and take this piece off. All right, guys, um, in order to get, get off this wiper, you gotta pick this piece up. Just, just, just hold it and um, pull it up. Just, just hold it. And it comes out, okay? That is the number 12. Take 
Okay, now that's loose. That's those two pieces um is um connected. So that stays there for now. In order to get this piece off, use it number 10 or, or a pliers and just turn it off. Turn it. Now that all the screws is um is removed from off the flare, go ahead and just snatch it off there because all along here it's some clips, some black clips. Just snatch it off. Plug it, and that's how the flare comes off. That's how you um take out the flare, and those are the clips that I was um talking about. Those black clips. Now that you take out the flare, let's go ahead and, uh, and um drop this piece so we we can go ahead and take off the fender. I already show you guys the points. I want to need here and how to take off this. Okay guys, I just got through taking all the screws from off the running board. I show you guys the, um, the points and the screws already. 
on how to um, take off this running board, do exactly what I tell you guys to do, and it will come right off, okay? See, thumbs up. Do what I tell you, what I tell you, tell you guys to do, and it will come off. The reason why you gotta um, take it off, but there's two screws right there. That's it. I'm the only way to get access to those two screws. There's one screw on the inside and one screw on, on the top. In order to take this piece off of there, you gotta um, try this piece off. It, it comes off. Alright guys, this piece right here, in order to get this piece off, you have to pry it off of there. But, and yes, you will scratch the fender. You will scratch it. But you gotta change this piece anyway, okay? If, if you don't want to scratch the fender, you gotta cut it off of there. But since this fender has to be fix in a way because they just have a big dent right there. Let's go ahead and pry it off again. See? Pry it off there. Those are the two down uh, the three screws. Number eight. It's three of them. Okay, people, I'll show you guys the steps and I'll also show you guys how to remove this fender. The only problem with this, with this type of vehicle is, is this antenna. Y'all see this wire right here? That's the antenna. It goes all the way into the dashboard. But that's the way how to um, get off the, the fender. Okay, guys, once you take off all the screws and you um, have on, on the fender, go ahead and pull the antenna out. Pull it all the way out. The reason why I said that, once you pull it, pull it all the way out, you're going to see the plug, the um, connection. Go ahead and um, disconnect it. You, you, you squeeze the back side down. And it comes out. And this piece comes out. Okay? That's how you guys do that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Working with and checking out, baby. Ah!